This is a community deemed dangerous, a place with potentially deadly concrete in 500 of these homes, a place that will be demolished and rebuilt, a place where Lynn was mortgage free. I've got nothing to leave my children. If they take my home, I've got nothing. It all went into that home. It is hard. Mm -hmm. This area of Aberdeen is the UK's biggest doomed housing estate linked to RAC, and residents here are questioning what the authorities knew. You knew when they you sold off these properties from the beginning what they were made of. You maybe didn't know the short lifespan of the span of the RAC at that time, but you certainly got reports about it later on. Officials here in Aberdeen did not want to speak to Sky News, but said they were offering the current market value for these homes. But it's thought there are more than 2,000 properties across the UK in a similar boat. And it's becoming apparent there's a postcode lottery of compensation depending on where people live. Campaigners say it's time for parity. The impact of losing your home, uh, losing tens of, potentially tens of thousands of pounds equity and facing a very real prospect of having nowhere to live is devastating. John could be offered half what his house was worth as residents rally around the prospect of possible legal action. When they did some renovations on this about 12 years ago, they put uh, plasterboard underneath the rack panels so you can't even see them. The only thing I can look to get a gain out of this is get fair compensation for the position the council have put us all in because this is the council's fault. They were at fault here and, and they can look at the laws any way they want. Ultimately, they sold property that was, that was basically wasn't fit for purpose. It seems this is a battle that could ultimately end up in the courts, in a community not in control of its future. Connor Gillis, Sky News, Aberdeen.